Greetings fellow scholars, internet friends, and fellow vampires. My name is Dumi Sunquest and this is my channel Learning with Dumi. Um, I talk about studying and today's video is about why I took a gap year. I matriculated in 2022, I was a class 2022, and I didn't go to uni in 2023, I took a gap year. And now in 2024, I got an acceptance into UNISA. The reason why I took a gap year was because when I was applying um, to go to university in 2023, I applied for bachelor programs, so bachelor's degrees. And in my mind, when we were applying, I made the very bad assumption that I would pass with a bachelor's pass in NSC. Now, if you're not from South Africa, there's like three layers of um the same uh passing matric and the three different like levels of it um i'll put it here if i can it's bachelor's which is the highest which you um i'll show you the requirements here it's diploma getting a diploma pass and then a higher certificate now when i started off in january at school which is around the time that i was picking my programs that i was applying into i was doing quite well i was quite excited to be back in school i was excited to be in the trick you know i felt like a big girl i was like yeah you know i'm gonna get this and i applied only for bachelor degrees however when my results came back i passed with a diploma pass nothing wrong with that if you had applied to diploma programs so i was stuck in the place where i was rejected from all of the programs that i had applied to because all of them were bachelor programs and then there's a point system in south africa so in our universities so i didn't even meet the requirements for certain diploma degrees like di diploma programs so i went into late applications uh, with cao like i paid my 150 or 130 and that didn't help either. Like, I felt like I went nowhere with it. Like, I basically, my mom gave away 130 for no reason. And when I realized that I had got no responses back from my late applications and I had not been accepted into an institution, I sat down, looked at my basket of eggs, and said, Well, they're not gonna hatch, so I might as well just make myself an egg sandwich. So, um, but what I'm trying to say with that metaphor is that I decided that, well, since I'm not going to get into university, I might as well apply to rewrite business studies because at the time I had a 32% in business studies. So I went back to my high school, sat there nice and neat, and I applied to rewrite my subjects. I re um, in June, I rewrote business studies and I got 57%, which I think is pretty good because I was studying on my own, I got my own resources, and I was very independent in my studying. But I say all this to say that even though it was a very like sad and like very like upsetting time for me academically, but that gap year that I took allowed me to sit back and analyze my um sit back and analyze the way in which I approached my academics. And that really made me realize that I actually had burnt out. Um, for a little background, I'm talking a lot about myself in this, but for a little background, when I was in primary school, coming into high school, I used to do very well. Who didn't? Like I used to get in my 70s and 80s, nothing up below a 60%. So when I got into high school and the reality of moving to a different area, because I moved to where I was in primary school, having no friends, a new environment, and this whole new social like um, hierarchy and um, sphere made me very like panicked and like very sad and not very good. So my marks started tanking because like obviously I was not pretty, I was not very happy with the move and everything. So my marks tanked and then um, I didn't do very well in like maths and then that made me very like focused or in on trying to do well but then I, i'd give up last minute like i'd try to do well I'd be like oh well, whatever i'm rambling but 
overall when i started high school i was not really getting my 70s and 80s like i was before and even though my parents didn't say anything i felt like i was disappointing myself so i tried very hard to strive for that 80 70 percent but i'd find myself more often than not dreading doing homework dreading like going back to school like absolutely hating studying and not understanding why and then sometimes i would study but i wouldn't get like a high mark and i think oh well what's the point but then like um i was sitting back and i was realizing how i genuinely lost that time when i was younger i was very competitive academically like in grade seven i was like fourth in my grade and i was like oh you know i'm really smart but when i matriculated i didn't even have a single di like uh distinction not even one like i barely even made it with zulu but i didn't have a single distinction and i was sitting back and i was like like wondering oh no my grade is up but i was wondering why i was not getting my dis distinctions and i was wondering like why did i not do well and overall i was realizing that i did not want to study and that was really messing me up because i was burnt out like academically burnt out i could not go any longer i was running on empty no inspiration nothing to look forward to but in this gap year i sort of realigned realigned my um thinking i got to rest and analyze what i really wanted in life and hopefully going into this new academic year i can do so much better um in my studies and take you along with me so thank you if you are also in that position where you don't really un like you don't really know where to go academically you also burnt out take a gap year if you can like if you've just matriculated take a gap year it might like refresh you because yes time waits, waits for no one but do you really want to be failing in first year on NESFAS or on a bursary and then lose it like relax sometimes it's worth it um but that's all for me like subscribe if you uh, like sharing about this and i'll see you in the next video um i'm gonna start study vlogs and hopefully when, after i hit 50 subscribers i'll be able to start live streaming so you can study with me but thank you for watching i hope you have a very nice day and keep your head up keep studying because at the end of the day it would be worth it bye love you